could do. It was a few years back, Trace. We're sitting there at the Urban Country Music Festival and we saw this lovely young lady over there, went and introduced ourselves, and her name was Calesti Butler. It and still is. It still is. <laughs> and Calesti was an up and coming bush balladeer. Mm-hmm. Well, she's broadened her horizon. She's become airborne in her own career. Oh, and I thought dear. it'd be nice to catch up with Calesti and see what she's doing with her new album. And uh, we caught up with her in Tamworth. She didn't recognise us, but that's okay. Forget about that. But she joins us tonight. Calesti, thank you so much for joining us. It's Darren and Tracy, if you didn't remember. Hi, Darren and Tracy. Oh, my God, I didn't recognise your voice. Uh-huh. <laughs> Calesti, I think everyone will recognise this is a completely new sound for Calesti Butler. It's it's a little bit different from my first album, I have to admit. It's more true and, and real for me, you know. And and I love Bush Ballad, don't get me wrong, and, I, and I'll still sing them and attend Bush Ballad Festival. But this album is, is kind of, you know, a picture of what's been happening to me since my last album. So it's real. Yeah, well, everyone uh, who on Facebook would know that seen what the, the challenges you've been through in the last two years. So music, is it therapeutic for you? Oh, God, yeah. If it's... If anyone says that music isn't therapeutic, that's just so lying. But no, I I just love music, any type of music. But to be able to connect with your own songs and tell a story, that's even that's even better again, you know. The album's out now. It is called Airborne. Have you got any plans of taking it on tour or anything like that? And if you do, where are you taking it? I did an album launch at Tamworth and had some really nice friends come and sing on the show, including Luke O'Shea and Alan Caswell. They're really good mates of mine. And, and I really, you know, think that's so nice that they support me and, and recognise me as, as a friend in, in the music industry. And I just got back from Victoria, actually. I was down at the Barham Country Music Stampede. I've got a few, few local shows um, over the next couple of weeks and I'll be going back down in New South Wales for a few gigs and and also on the east coast a fair few things happening there but probably best just to check it out on my website colestibutler.com and also Facebook it's pretty big now Instagram I am pretty busy um, you know I've got a fair few shows happening you know with the album so I'm um, just Jump on and check it out. And if I'm not coming to your town, I don't know, send me a message and say, come, and maybe I'll come. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, just with the album, and it is titled Airborne, why did you choose Airborne to be the first single? I think it was just a gut feeling that that was the correct title for the album, you know, and, and how I was feeling at, at the time. I um, I just felt like I was flying so to speak, you know, I, I love a challenge and, and I felt like I was challenging myself a little bit by, by going out in this direction with the album and I, I don't know, I just, I felt like it was something that came easy as well, you know, and being released of a lot of things that have happened to me over the last couple of years, you know, I just had this, I don't know, very fairy feeling maybe. I don't know. Oh. I'll, trans- I'll translate that for you, Tracy. Okay. What that means is Rob Mackay prized full of red wine and said, this is the song that's going to be the first to- track off the <laughs> Okay, the maybe, that, yeah. maybe that's what happened. <laughs> uh, look, congratulations. You're in at number 29 this week with Airborne. So good to, to see Calesti Butler in the charts. And uh, it's great to catch up with you tonight, and we'll be doing it again very shortly. Folks, if you want to keep in touch with what Calesti's doing, you can do it on all of the normal waves, whether it's on uh, the social media or on a website, and follow what she's doing and have a look at it. She's a very talented young lady, and we look forward to seeing her again soon. Here she is this week with number this week's number 29, Airborne. <laughs>